So I'm becoming a little bit of a dinosaur with streaming, but recently we've been getting a bit more serious with the technology side. Um, we've always operated on a mega, mega budget. So now we have trying to up our situation. We've been switched to a dual PC. And one of the biggest things I've tried to do on a budget is connect the dual PC system cheaply, which I managed to succeed. Um, the only thing I've really had an issue with is not having the mixer. Now I know people will say, oh, you know, there's plenty of cheap mixers out there, but I didn't want a mixer that had gave me extra cables. I simply wanted something to plug in and do the job with volume sliders, and I managed to stumble across the Nano Control 2. Now the Nano Control 2 is this, it is just a MIDI controller. That is literally all it does. So we've, all, we've, we've got these volume sliders. Um, it's ideally made for music design. That, that's sort of what the main purpose of it is. Now, we came across someone's software that they had made. Um, all credit goes to Huber on his YouTube. Do go follow him, it's H-O-0-B-E-R. He himself has created a piece of software. Now this software is as simple as this. I run a dual PC setup but all of my volume controls pretty much come from my main gaming PC. So my nano control is plugged into my main gaming PC. I here have individual volume knobs that I can assign to any program I want that comes up on the Windows mixer. So, perfect example, Spotify. I can click Spotify, I press S, and it will assign Spotify. You can check in the software down here. Spotify is assigned. So now I can press the play button on it. I'm trying to find a good solution to changing That's the YouTube video. I can press the play button. Let's just pick anyone, any piece of random music. And with this, now, if you watch the slider for Spotify, I can individually control the sound setting in Spotify. Same with Discord. I can select Discord. I can press select on the next volume mixer and it didn't work oh, oh okay with discord what i did find is you had to connect to a channel press select there we go there we go and then it is done and then you can disconnect from a channel so now discord is there discord we can change up and down moves exactly when i'm moving it same with spotify we can change it and even if you've got a game in the foreground, you can assign this as well. But your end control here will always be your global settings. So I can bring all of them down. So now, when I'm playing, if I've got someone on Discord that's too loud, I can pull them down. If I change scenes, I can bang the music back up. I can pretty much have full control of all of my audios. And with all of these switches, it gives you so many options. Um, of what to assign them for and it has been exactly exactly what I've been looking for so to get the software we'll provide the link in the description but you want to jump over to Huber's channel he has the github link and you can follow it over to here and this is the latest version of it um, all you have to do is download the exe and that is pretty much it so all credit to this guy this is, is this is huge for us streamers. Um, I don't really think he realizes how good it is. So do go and check him out. Guys, thank you very much. Okay, so I just watched this back and there's a few things I seem to have left out. So I'm quickly gonna add this in before I finish up the video. So on each individual source, you also have the M button where you can mute each individual source with the press of a button. This is pretty key because it can get handy if you need to mute Discord, mute Spotify, all with a click of a button. Also, all your config files will be saved. So you, every time you start your PC up, you will not have to keep assigning Spotify, Discord. It will all stay assigned every time you run your PC. Guys, I hope this helps someone massively as much as it's helped me and it's been interested me. And hopefully you can uh, comment below and see what you think.